Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit. Today we are talking about ephemera storage and how we are, and different methods for uh, storing these uh, little lovelies that we have. And I tell you what, I've gone crazy and I've bought so many different things only at the thrift store. These are all used, thrifty ideas and easy ideas that's important too because i love easy so uh i i do i see all of these beautiful ephemera books that people are making on youtube and i just i just don't know if i i i want to spend my time on that at this point so i'm looking for these really easy easy methods i've kind of gone to photo albums and i've done different things uh i've done a few videos on them but i'm here to pull all of them together and say this this is uh this is working this isn't working i've tried this and so let's go ahead and get started so i have these little uh photo albums i i find these a lot or see them a lot at thrift stores and they're just these little uh top loading ones and i did modify them uh, a little bit i will say that you have to Re I had to remove a lot of the po uh, the uh, pockets. As you can see, this one I haven't, and this one I cut out a bunch. So, I mean, you can't really get much, much uh, thicker than that. So with this one, I have a ton of empty ones, so I'm probably gonna have to do the same thing. I, I'm still in the process, but some here's uh, some examples. So. Uh, in this one, I have all of my writing papers, and it seems to be working pretty good. I, I kind of like it. I, I fit a lot in there, and it and I, I'm pretty happy with this. Just you just have to remember that you have to cut out some sleeves. Okay, so this one I have smaller pieces, and everything kind of bunches up on the lower half because you you know I kind of make the pockets here, and I decided well, oh, I could make a, a second pocket up here and maybe I could sew across and uh, cut it apart. And then I thought, uh, no, I, this is uh, front and back sleeves. So what I ended up doing is uh, stapling across one pocket. So you can see front and back, I did three staples. And then I cut off this piece of plastic and so I just have the one pocket down here. And then when you flip the page, I just am using the top pocket. So that's already all set to go after you staple it. So it, it really kind of evens out the book a little bit. And then I put like things like butterflies and butterflies. Okay, so those work pretty good. That's an idea. Uh, second idea, I bought a, a CD holder. Yeah, who knew? And uh, CD holders have like these two pockets here. Uh, this is the top pocket and this is the bottom pocket. I cut all of these out and then flipped it over up. I guess it doesn't really matter if the thing is upside down, but it's, it's basically if you do the pocket here, it'll be upside down. So I flipped it, whatever, not important. But at any rate, this seems like, you know, a pretty good idea. You can store it upright and then zip it and then you don't have to worry about ephemera falling out. So, so far I haven't, um, you know, pushed this to the max, but I do have quite a bit of ephemera uh, loaded in here. So, so yeah, uh, this one I, I kind of like. So if you find a CD holder somewhere and they have the zip pocket, that might work pretty good. Okay. All right, I tried this. I have two of these that I made and basically they are those uh, scrapbooks. And then they have the top lo loading pocket. And I just, I just found that, you know, in order to make this useful, <laughs> I had to, you know, really put a lot of items in there. And then you kind of, in order to see them, you would have to organize them by size and, um, I wasn't really excited about this idea, but I would, I would recommend, and I do plan on doing this, uh, where you take a, a sleeve, you, I would take all the sleeves completely out and then just, um, just so, you know, a line 
if you have a stapler you can also staple i only have a small stapler but if you have a regular size you can you can reach all the way to the middle and just staple across and then you just slit the plastic right at that spot so and that works that works you could even totally cut the whole thing so they were separate and i'll show i'll kind of show you that in a different one in a minute so uh, this size might be kind of nice. It does have an expandable spine. This one is kind of broken. I need to fix this. It's, it's out of control. All right. So, uh, I'll, I'm going to do kind of a two, two for one. Well, okay. So this one I got, and I'm really excited about it because I have, an, oh, let me put that. Well, let me show you this first uh okay i like this this is a little like i don't know insurance thing that people are giving out and they i don't i don't even remember what i took out of the pockets to be honest with you um some kind of a planner of some sort but i really like how flexible it is because the spine is like this so it could be really flat but then it can also expand so this is pretty nice so i did the thing which i was talking about in the previous uh video which is to to uh sew uh these halfway down the middle each of them and then i'm just gonna cut right there and then i've got two pockets so and uh you know you can trim your strings and get those out of the way but I'm not gonna do that on this video because you don't want to watch me do that and then you can just simply you know fill up all the pockets with your goodies and I had some stuff that I was saving here it is I found it uh, I just cut out this is from a dictionary and each of these has little each one has an image on it so those are bulky actually <laughs> they're very bulky they take up a lot of room but they're kind of nice so yeah and then you have a little pocket and then um, I'm just going to cut all these and I think I'm going to be able to fit quite a bit in this book so I'm excited that I found it and it's very flexible the only thing I don't like about it is how I'm going to decorate it I think maybe I'll staple some fabric strips so I'll staple each strip at each end and then I was thinking of weaving uh, more fabric strips around the other way, stapling them on this end, stapling them on this end, and then that would create a cover that wouldn't interfere with any of the pockets, uh, you know, in it. So I really like that one. It feels nice in the hand, as they say. Okay, um, this one, is just a three ring binder and of course it has the pocket to be able to put some decorative paper in there and make it look a little prettier because the black is kind of blah uh and i already talked about this in another video and i just want to say i think it was before i stuffed everything in here and i really like this one uh especially for bigger ephemera pieces that i don't use all that often this just kind of got them weeded out of my things that I use frequently. So I've got lots of different styles and uh, you can fit a ton in here. So I'm, I'm doing another one of these for more of my ephemera, but I really like this one for bigger pieces of ephemera. So not small ones, but bigger ones. And it does work really great. And the pockets are awesome. You can use the zipper kind, which is, I think you can see that there. Uh, so this is a zipper pocket. We've got the uh, plastic sleeve page protectors and then these colorful page protectors. So those are some really quick and easy options for that. Oh, uh, let's see here. Okay, uh, my very favorite ephemera book is this one and that's probably why i like this one so much because it's for smaller pieces uh, but it's still got that same shape which is so uh flexible for the expanding of the of the spine so that you can fit a lot in there and this is my book pages ephemera book pages forms and maps 
and it's my favorite okay so there's that and all right so then i found this book and it was a planner and i'm just gonna move some of these out of the way it was a planner and i thought it would make a really good one and it's kind of okay uh i took everything out except for the pockets and it's really pretty already because it had each of the pockets has this beautiful image on the back um and maybe it's just what i'm using it for and i added some top pockets but i really couldn't get anything in there because my bottom pockets are already overflowing and my spine is just it's kind of at the max of what these uh interior pages can kind of handle so it's okay i'm probably not going to use it that frequently i'm using it for my all my lined paper so that's just anything to back you know journal cards or to put a, a, a page with lines in a journal so that um it's okay it's 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 not fantastic but it's it works um i think yeah okay this is the last one the last idea was to use this uh, type of photo album, which has the side uh, access to it, and then it's got a little writing area. So you could technically, you know, uh, put labels on it. Uh, and for some ephemera, it works okay. Uh, it for bigger pieces, long, wide, you know, going all the way to the edge, that works pretty good. For little tiny pieces, they do this they fall out and it's kind of been a problem and I ended up taking uh, pieces of washi tape and uh, you know closing them shut and then you can see I ended up taking them out because it was just kind of a frustrating process but I wouldn't give up on this type totally I think if I had to do it again I would either sew staple or tape these shut and then make a slit here and then it could be top loading and i think that would entirely fix the problem and it wouldn't be that difficult to just tape um staple or you can see what i did to close these off was uh to put brads and uh yeah just any kind of a, that kind of fastener so there's lots of options with this one i'm not going to give up on this one either uh the little tinies they keep falling out so, and this one I didn't uh, put my in-between on that one, so they're kind of drifting in between. But you get the idea. So I hope this gives you lots of ideas for uh, ways to store your ephemera with thrift shop finds. You can find these, you know, at your thrift shops, shops, rummage sales, and used kind of places that, you know, you can, you can get a lot of colorful, pretty uh, storage that isn't going to cost a lot and it isn't going to take uh, up that much time either so you can plan a happy life that worked out pretty good all right <laughs> okay so i hope you enjoyed this it was a lot of information but um yeah i hope you found this helpful and thanks for coming along i'll talk to you later